Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Smiley. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of the previous video. Um, I know that I said I'd be releasing, uh, that the next video would be me uh, demonstrating how to let others connect using Log Me and Hamachi. Um, but as of right now, I don't have somebody available to help me uh, with the recording of that. Um, so in, in, in place of that video, uh, right now we're going to be uh, just covering how to add uh, mods, scripts, vehicles, things like that to your resources folder. Um, or well, just into your server in general. So what we are going to cover is if I go ahead and take a look at my map. If you, as you see, like it just looks like the base GTA 5 map, just black and white. There's not really much going on with it. Um, but if I go ahead and tab out and come to my desktop, what I can do is go to my D drive, where, or at least go to where I uh, installed my server info. So that would be the TX data. And then the CFX default dot base, just wherever you saved this uh, folder in the last video, you need to uh, navigate to that. And then inside of that will be your resources folder. It's, it's just as easy as dragging the folder in. And then going back to the server, not that. <laughs> going back into the game. And then opening up your TX console, tabbing over to TX admin, going down to this little pen icon, and then coming down to where it says these resources will start by default. Actually, no, you don't want this. Uh, you want to go to, is you want to create a little portion where your added mods will start i mean you could put it here where it says these resources will start by default but i think it is always best to differentiate which ones come with the uh, come with the server and the, ga like the game itself um i always think it's best to differentiate and be organized so what i am going to do is i'm going to do hashtag hashtag this comments out um comments anything out that i uh, like you don't want to run as code so i'm going to do hashtag hashtag and then put add on mods slash scripts and then under here I'm going to put ensure and what you want to do is you want to go back to your file explorer I should have done this to, uh, before coming back in but uh, you want to come back to your resources folder find the name of the mod that you're wanting to put in and then you can if you have it selected like this, where it's white, if you click it one more time and hold your cursor there, it'll go ahead and edit uh, the name. Um, another way to do this is just by right-clicking on the folder, clicking rename, and then just copy the, the, the name of the resource. And then going back into 5M. And then after ensure, you're just going to paste the name of your resource. You're going to save it. And then if you go to believe it's this yep if you go to this little uh, cube looking icon and you come up here to re uh, reload and refresh you'll see postal map by the fly bandit or whatever mod that you are trying to add you'll see that you can click start all right and if you exit out of this well if I could <laughs> There we go. If you exit out of this and then come up here to uh, let, we'll open up your console by hitting F8 and then typing in restart and then pasting your um, your uh, resource name. If this doesn't work, which it doesn't appear it is, if this doesn't work, you can always restart the game. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to type in disconnect into my console. It's going to kick me out back to the main 5M menu. 5M menu. Then we can come back in, connect to the server. It will say this waiting for the game to shut down. So this does take generally about a minute or two. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip to when it will let me reconnect. All right, so while we are waiting on the game to completely shut down, what we are gonna do is we are going to actually head over to Google, uh, Chrome or whatever web browser you use. 
and head over to localhost and then whatever port uh, it is hosted on, uh, whatever port the server is hosted on for you. Um, and then we're going to head over to uh, the TX admin dashboard and then just restart the server. This will take generally just a, maybe, maybe a minute or two, um, but it, it has to kick everybody out so their game doesn't crash and then um, then process the restart. So it does take a little bit, but as you can see, it didn't take very long. All right, so now that the server has restarted, we are going to head back into 5M. And we are going to connect local host. Server is loading or failed to load. Oh, cool. It, it went ahead and loaded. Now, again, this is going to take a little bit. I am going to go ahead and skip uh, past this for you guys, so that way it's a little bit faster. Alrighty, so um, now that we're mostly in the server, I just wanted to say that if you do notice that um, your, like once you fully loaded in, uh, if you do notice that in the bottom right, if it says awaiting scripts and you have a black screen, it is normal. It does generally take a few minutes. Um, but once we are loaded in, if we go ahead and hit escape and then go to our map, if you'll see, the map has completely changed. We now have a postal map. So, um, uh, if you wanted to uh, go ahead and do this to uh, like make it a little bit easier to navigate or anything like that, you do have access to, uh, like, with that. Um, now, generally there there is a little bit of a bug with uh, at least the one that I'm using. Uh, sometimes uh, it takes a second. Like you might have to relog if it's not showing in the bottom left, uh, like the the color, like the colors and the postals and all that. It, generally, if you just relog, it'll fix it. Um, but this is also a just a generic like postal map not one that i paid for it was just free to use um but yeah uh, that is how you add any type of resource mod script vehicles anything like that into your 5m server if you guys have any questions comments or concerns um comment down below i do answer every single comment and if you guys enjoyed the video got value from the video i would always appreciate a like and if you want to stay tuned to future content a subscribe is always appreciated as well you guys have a great rest of your day